Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for today's Pilates Tower class. All you'll need is a wooden dowel attached to two short yellow springs hanging from the top of your tower. Start seated with your feet against the upright posts and hands wide on the wooden dowel. Inhale first and then exhale, roll down and back until you're flat on the mat. Legs are straight. Circle the shoulders up, back and down several times to loosen them up. Tip the chin forward and roll up bone by bone until you're tall at the top. Inhale, exhale again, contract the deep low abs and roll down and back bone by bone until you're flat. Pull the bar to the chest several times in and out, shoulders staying away from the ears. I could help you hold your demons down while you drive. Roll back up to the top, inhale and exhale. Inhale, grow tall, contract your abs, roll down and back once again. This time, press your straight arms towards your lap. Be sure to keep your abs drawn down towards your spine so your ribs don't flare apart. Now curl back up to the upright position. Rolling down. Once you're flat, you're gonna arch up. So you'll lift your chest up through your arms as though a string is attached to your sternum and float up. Then exhale, curling down. Inhale, arch up. Exhale, contract your abs and roll down. One more time. Inhale, arch. And then at the top, reverse it. Arch down, leading with the back of your head. Flatten out, tip the chin, and roll up. Inhale, extend the spine back, gently landing on the head. And exhale, curling up. And again. Sitting tall, squeeze the legs together. Tilt your spine to the right, then curl down the right side of your back, sweep around to the left and curl up the left side. Grow tall at the top. Contract over to the left, curl down and back, and rotate to the right and up. Over to the right, down and around, and up the left side. Continue alternating. Whatever you see in your heart lies. From the top, scoop your low abs and curl halfway down. Stay here and pull the bar into the chest, then straighten the arms, like you're doing an upright row. Straighten the arms and roll up to a seated position. Curl back down halfway, tilt to the right, pull the bar into the chest, then tilt to the left and pull the bar into the chest. Back and forth, side to side. Return to center and curl up to an upright seated position. Smoke. Curl halfway back again. This time lift your right leg up into a chair position. With the arms remaining straight, crunch up and down. Aim the bar along your shin, so put some pressure into the hands instead of aiming to the top of the tower. Now straighten your leg and crunch up and down, aiming the bar towards the top of your foot inhaling and exhaling lower the leg and return to a tall position once again we do the other side contract and curl back stop part way pull the leg up into a chair position and crunch up and down dragging the bar along your shin straighten your left leg and continue to crunch forward and back up and down 
lower the leg and roll up to sitting tall. Roll down onto your back, taking the bar with you, and then hook your legs over top of the bar. Lower your head, arms, and feet onto the mat. Inhale to prepare, then exhale, tuck the tail and peel up into a bridge position. Inhale at the top, exhale, soften behind the heart and roll the body down until your tailbone meets the mat. Then do it again. Curl your head up and draw your knees in so that you can hold on to the outer edges of the bar. Extend your legs to the sky. Press the arms down towards the mat, lowering and lifting the bar. Contract those deep low abs as you move your arms up and down. Rest your head down on the mat and bend your knees over the bar again. Now we're gonna do rolling like a ball. So curl back up, stay in a ball shape or fetal position and rock up and down, trying not to use too much momentum with the legs. When you roll down each time, only go to the tip of the shoulder blades, then come up. You're gonna do about eight to 10 repetitions and by the 10th one, I want you to stay at the top, balancing on your sit bones. As you balance, press the bar off the back of your legs five times using those ab muscles. Now reach your arms out in front of you and press the bar down and away from you with your legs, like you're doing little reverse crunches. Hold on to the bar, roll all the way down, then remove your legs from the bar. Place your feet against the upright posts, legs straight, and your right hand in the center of the bar. Left arm reaches overhead. Now side bend to the right, then place your left foot next to or on top of your right foot over on the right upright post. So Breathe deep into your left lung as you stretch. Return to the center and switch sides. Left hand in the center of the wooden dowel, right arm goes overhead, side bend to the left. Then slide your right foot next to or on top of the left foot, which is against the left upright post. Breathe deep into the right lung as you stretch. Return your foot to the correct post and turn onto your right side. Lift your back foot against the post but up to hip height. The bottom leg is down on the mat. Inhale as you crunch up doing a side lift, keeping your right bicep next to your ear. Now turn on to your left side. Your right hand will be in the center of the bar. The feet are still against the posts, but now your right leg that's on top will be at hip height against the rear post. Inhale as you lift up, keeping your bottom arm next to your ear. Exhale as you lower down crunching up and down.
return to your back, feet against their proper posts, hands in the center of the wooden dowel. Take a big inhale at the bottom and exhale, roll the body all the way up to the top. Turn around, lie down on your back with your head towards the tower and the wooden dowel in your hands. Inhale, arms reaching to the sky. Exhale, bring your elbows down to the mat next to your hips. And inhale, reach the arms up. As you lower and lift the arms, keep the collarbones open and broad. Draw the elbows down to your sides and press the bar towards your legs, bending and straightening your elbows for triceps presses. Raise the bar to the sky and turn your palms to face the other direction. Then drag your elbows down towards the mat again near your hips. Keep the chest open as you lower and lift the arms several times. Raise your arms to the sky, then bend them, bringing the bar towards your nose as you exhale, biceps curl. Straighten the arms and turn the palms to face your legs again. Inhale, tuck the tail and roll the hips up into a bridge position. Exhale, reach the arms down to your lap Inhale, lift the arms up, and exhale, roll the body down. Inhale, the hips up, exhale, arms lower. Inhale, arms lift, exhale, the hips down. Do this one more time. This time, inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the hips and lower the arms simultaneously. Inhale, hold, and then exhale, release the arms up, hips down. Inhale at the top, exhale, pull it together. Inhale as you hold, and exhale, release. One more time. Now wrap the back of your legs over the bar, right behind your knees. Hold on to the upright posts overhead and lower your legs till your feet touch the mat, then return them back up into a tabletop position. Lower the feet down, hinging at the hips, then lift up, trying to keep your pelvis stable as you move the legs. Reverse crunches, curl the buns up off the mat then roll back down, rolling up and down. Place your hands on the outer edges of the bar, straighten your legs up to the sky and press the bar down the back of your legs several times. Keep your head and neck relaxed and your shoulders away from your ears. Remove your legs from the bar and release the bar from your hands. Place your feet wide on the mat and drop your knees to the right, head to the left, opening up the front of your left hip. Switch sides. Come off the machine and lower your springs that are attached to the roll down bar down to the height where the push-through bar is loaded. I don't close my Lie supine with your head towards the tower and place your feet in the center of the wooden dowel. Legs parallel and the bar is in the center of the foot or around the cup of the heel. Hold on to the upright posts overhead while you get started Lengthen the legs out to straight 
then bend them back in, keeping good control of the bar. Now lift and lower the legs as they remain straight. Keep your tailbone on the mat and relax the head, neck, and shoulders. You can also bring your hands down by your sides. Lift the legs up, then bend your knees into a tabletop position, press out low. Lift up high, bend the knees in toward your abdomen, then lengthen the legs out over the mat. Continue. Reverse the circles. Lower the legs, bend into chair, extend up high. Lower down, bend in, extend up. Extend your legs to the sky and slide your feet apart so they're wide on the bar. Now lower and lift your legs. Lift the legs up, bend your knees in, extend them out, and bend them back in, keeping your tailbone heavy on the mat, abdominals tight, head and neck and arms relaxed. Extend your legs up to the sky and circle them as you did earlier, lowering down, bending in, extending up high. And reverse direction. The next one is tricky. Take your left foot to the mat and your right foot into the center of the bar. Be very cautious on this one. Extend your leg out over the mat as high as you need to, depending on your hamstring strength. Even more challenging for me, lift the leg up and lower it down, keeping your knee straight. Bend your knee and place the bar behind your ankle. Holding on to the springs, pull the leg towards your face to stretch. You can lengthen your left leg down on the mat as well. Now switch and place your left foot in the center of the bar. Right foot is on the mat, knee bent. 
extend your left leg out over the mat four to five times. Lengthen the leg and lower and lift the leg up and down four to five times. Place the bar behind your ankle and stretch your hamstring. Remove the bar from your leg and come to a seated position. Face the long edge of your mat with your legs in a fourth position. Feet are closer to the tower side of the mat. Bring the wooden dowel overhead, both hands holding on. Inhale at the top, exhale side over, then inhale to lift up. My burdens left behind. I did not know what it would bring. Remove the spring that's attached to the back of the bar from behind you. Turn your bar to a vertical position, holding on with both hands. Twist away from the tower. Head is high, shoulders are low. Exhale as you turn each time. Turn so that your backside is towards the tower. Legs can straddle the mat like mine are, or they can be on top in a straight or cross-legged position. Attach the spring that you had removed to the other side of your wooden dowel. Sitting tall, press your arms to straight for a chest press. Inhale and exhale press. Keep your arms straight and raise them up then lower them down. As the arms go overhead, make sure to keep the ribs knit together in the front and your spine long and straight. Bend your arms and bring your hands into the center of the bar, thumbs touching. Maybe hinge forward out of your hips slightly, bring the bar toward your forehead, extend and bend your elbows for triceps presses. Turn to the left side of your mat, legs in fourth position, feet towards the tower. Hold the bar overhead and side bend to the right. Remove the spring that's loaded on the back of your bar, hold the bar vertically close to the spring side of the bar, then grow tall and rotate to the right, inhaling to prepare, exhaling to twist. Come to standing and hang the bar back up at the top of the tower. Lie prone with your hands wide on the wooden dowel and arms length away from the tower, legs separated. When the stars close bright, so Inhale as you press the arms down and lift your head and chest off the mat. Exhale as you return. Inhale, draw the shoulder blades down into your back pockets and rise up. Exhale to lower down. Fall. 
this time keep the torso lifted as you pump the bar up and down five times. Now stay lifted and drag the bar in towards your body and away. Lower down and carefully release the bar and push back into a child's pose. Walk your hands to the left side of your mat to stretch your right side. Now walk your hands over to the right side and stretch your left side. Return to the center and take a couple more deep breaths. And slowly roll up your spine bone by bone. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Then clasp your hands behind your back and open up your heart. Taking a big inhale. And clasp your hands and reach the arms overhead on an inhale and exhale the arms down to your sides. You did it. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.